In this clip, we will see how you will be able to access your constructed responses that require grading for certain IABs and or FIABs inside of CAS. So from here, we're going to be able to look and find where it says Smarter Balanced Interim Assessments. Once we click on Interim Assessments, we're looking for where you see the Interim Assessment Hand Scoring System. It is this icon right here. Be sure to visit this one and not the Training Guides, but again, the Interim Assessment Hand Scoring System. It will prompt you to be able to log into your CASP or Tom's account. You will use the same account that you use to be able to administer the test and the same account that you would use to be able to access the scores via SIRS. So once you're signed into your Tom's or CASP accounts, once you have entered into the hand scoring system, you should be redirected to a page that looks something like this. And really what we're wanting to do is to be able to understand what this platform has. It should have and display the results for your site for not only your course, but also some of the other teachers courses as well as the sessions that they may administer. So from left to right, the first thing you'll notice is the ability to filter by test. So which of one of the IABs that have options or that requires hand scoring, these are all these tests. So if you already knew your IAB or FIAB that you were looking to score, you could simply run the drop down, click there. The other thing that you have the ability to do is be able to select a session. So if you have multiple sessions, then you may not want to go there specifically to look at this one. Otherwise, if you want to target a specific session, you can do that. From here, you're looking at the grade level. So let's say you are teaching in this example, eighth grade, then you could from that drop down select the grade level that you're needing to score. Now, if you are one of many teachers at your site, let's say, for example, I teach eighth grade and there's other colleagues that also teach eighth grade. You could also come over here to the filter where it says scorers. So I'm gonna select from this drop down, and you may be able to select and locate your name for what is ever the one of the, the tests that you require grading or scoring for. Now in doing so, I'm filtered out by not only the test that I wanted to, as well as the grade level that I'm responsible for, as well as myself and the name of the score themselves. So now when you look under this column that it says assigned to, you're looking at only the scores that you were assigned to. So at this particular juncture, you would be able to enter and score the student response. So I'm going to come over here where I see score. Now give it a moment and right here will populate the response of the student that I had selected on. Now when you are looking to be able to award a score, some things to be mindful of. The fact that you may want to see the rubric. If I come over here to the plus indicator here where it says rubric, I'm going to expand that and now I'm getting able to see what it tells me the various scores would be warranting, whether it be a two, a one, or a zero in this particular item's case. Now, something else that I believe is extremely helpful is the exemplars. Now, by coming over here or on the far right side, you click the button exemplar. It will download a PDF. I'm gonna go ahead and do that so I can show how beneficial that may be. Now, the exemplar as it comes to us, I'm gonna open that. So now that we have the PDF exemplars pulled up, a couple of things to point out. I'm going to go ahead and scroll on down. So while we know absolutely a teacher can read the entire passage to get a better understanding, this is just a quick way that you may be able to see whatever it is you need so that you're grading, you know what the best score might be for a particular item. So here it provides us with the item stem and that's the question that was asked. And then here we have a sample response. And what they do here in addition to the score, so we know that this response received a two, it gives us comments and tells us why they deserved a two for this particular item. So I'm going to come on down and go even further. Same thing, you see a different response and then as well as the stem again and then the score and then of course the comments as to why. So if you're wanting to see what are some sample twos look like, what are some sample ones, you can go up th throughout the document and be able to see of course what would you see a zero. So here's another one, this one is a one. This is what the student responded and deserved a score of a one and then the comments that were to be able to provide evidence as to why the score reserves the one. So I'm gonna close this. We're gonna go back to the passage. And when you're ready to be able to give the score, you can come on down and you where it says score here. This is where you're gonna select the score that you believe this response deserves. Now when I'm finished with this, I'm gonna click submit score as tentative. And one of the things we really wanna point out is that these scores can still be changed at this particular juncture. Submitting a score as tentative is kind of just putting it on hold before it's marked finally as complete. Now, down below you see the next response, and this is if you wanted to toggle between student to student to student, okay? Now let's say for example here, instead, I wanted to be able to go to the response list, back where we have all of our students listed. I'm gonna come back here to this button, and you will see again, 
students in this column, the item, the session, the date, the status, and who the test is assigned to. We wanna make sure that we're only looking at those that are assigned to ourselves. And we used, again, those filters at the top to be able to locate what needed to be scored for us. Now I'm coming at the very bottom, and that's because at the very bottom, we see where it says mark complete. This is where you would go once you have finished scoring those as tentative. Marking complete would be able to finalize. Now, as you click this, those scores or those responses will no longer be visible here. They will be gone and those scores will then be populated over in SIRS. But you only wanna make sure you click that mark complete once you are ready and the scores have been marked as tentative. Now, I know that on the far left-hand side, you could simply click this upper left hand corner box and that will automatically check off all of the individual student responses. You could also click one by one of the individual students, but just be mindful of when you're clicking, going again down to the bottom mark as complete that you're reserving that until the very end once you are ready to be able to submit those scores. Okay, so that's it. That's how we were able to enter the scoring system once more where we went through CASP. We go into interims. From here, we clicked on the interim assessment hand scoring system, and that redirected us. And I can't stress again, these filters at the very top, they should help you quickly identify those responses that require you to grade. So if you get here and you see, I see other teachers, we wanna make sure that we're using these filters to be able to see that it's only ourselves. So selecting scores, I think, may be your quickest bet to identify only your responses, but knowing that you have those other options as well. If you have any questions, please let us know.